Oh my God, that curry gets hot. Mm -hmm. plan is we're going to walk through town and find some tasty Nepali snacks to see if we can find an adventure. So this is totally a tourist town, but unfortunately it's like a ghost town. But none of the tourists have come back since uh, COVID. Kind of kind of sad, really. Yeah. Every hotel we go to is dead. Every resort we go to is dead. There's so much adventure to be had in Nepal. Absolutely. The Deshane Festival is also going on, so there's no locals. Everybody's at home with their families. Today's the main day. Yeah, this is the big day. Watch it. Don't get run over. If you're looking for that next vacation, hell with that beach resort. Come explore Nepal. See if we can find an adventure. We're gonna try some roadside Nepali treats. I heard these were Indian, but when you read the package, it says Nepal, made in Nepal. Hopefully this is Nepali treat. Like a cheese puff, almost like a flaming hot cheese puff. Less cheesy, otherwise I wouldn't be eating it. But again, it's that spice flavor. Super hot, but it actually tastes better than the, the spice she does. And then we got Lay's, but Indian Marsala, we gotta try it. Yep. When you're in different countries, you always get different flavored chips, and I'm a chip monster. I love chips. Yes, he is. Can you get into the bag? I'm trying. Can you have patience? No. I'm really not sure. Jalapenos, chili peppers, onions. The minute you put it in your mouth, you think it's like a, a blast of salt. Someone took the boxing gloves off and started punching your mouth with spice. <laughs> It's not too hot though. It's not too spicy. No, it's 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 definitely hot for a chip though. That would be really good with like a peanut butter and jelly. I like it, but I don't eat a lot of chips like he does. He eats. We'll try these. I like these. Yeah, I like the ladies Marcella. Uh oh, we're about to get wet. Put the umbrella out because it's starting to rain. You want to get under? Yeah, I can slow down. Sure. We're in the umbrella. Trying to stay dry. Hopefully it doesn't create like a giant monsoon like yesterday. That rain was coming down so hard. Yep. It's like they're building a new sewer system in the main part of town. It started raining, so we decided we're gonna duck into a restaurant and a little bar. Got a beautiful view. It's not raining too hard, but we already ordered some Nepali beers. We're going to take advantage of it. Cheers. A moment of rest for April. Enjoy the rest. So let's try the onion pagora. He says it's spicy. Oh my God, that curry gets hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we told him American hot. <laughs> At first, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's got good flavor, it's got good flavor. And then, whoa, my mouth is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And then when you breathe them, it gets hotter. <laughs> it's like an onion ring, but doesn't taste greasy. That's pretty good. I like it. What we've noticed about these, it's like they take a handful of really finely sliced onion, dip it in a batter, and then drop the whole thing into the deep fryer. It's so different. It's kind of like a pancake with an onion if it was deep fried. I know. Look inside. Fried the onion pagora is a Nepali snack food that in the United States we would call a appetizer. It's typically made with chickpea flour or corn flour. With spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander, cauliflower, ginger, onion, and chili. Then you add a little bit of water to it and grab it with a wooden spoon and drop it in the deep fryer just like a hush puppy. Fried tasty Nepali snack. 
super tasty. I love this sauce too. Yeah, it's good. This sauce would be amazing on chicken wings, whatever this sauce is. It'd be the best buffalo wings ever. Yeah, my tongue is on fire now. <laughs> pingle, pingle, fire, fire. I know. You like? He's asking you. Yeah, it's different. Oh, yeah. My stomach is going to hate this, but mm -hmm. it is so good. We're sitting in the bar. When was the last time you seen this? A bunch of elephants just walking in the field with their their masters riding them. What do you think, April? Feeling good, except for a few mosquito bites. <laughs> There's more beer. Make no, you feel I gotta go back to pee. Just yeah. give in. You've trained. No. You've trained for this I've moment. I've trained for emergency, <laughs> emergency. You have trained, lady. No. The force is with you. <laughs> oh my God. I saw it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Spit it out if you need to. That was really temperature hot. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Tastes like inside the dumpling is buffalo that has been like diced up with some different vegetables. Yeah, that's marsala. The little curry sauce that you dip it in was as good. It's that, that same flavor bomb that I was having on the oh, it is? the onion the onion dish. So go ahead and be smart and cut yours in half. Now April's got the chicken here. Mm. Salty but tasty. Yeah, just a hint of uh, chicken and mostly. Uh, Spice and flavor. Good. Yeah. Oh yes, thank you. And you you want another beer? No. You don't want another beer? No. You sure? Uh -huh. Just one more beer? Uh-uh. You want a wine? <laughs> See how he's gonna coerce me? <laughs> Sales guy. We don't have nowhere to be? Yeah. What? Where are you gonna be? Toilet back at my place. <laughs> no, you practice. Mm -hmm. You were look, ladies tell her. She's been practicing at home how to use her pea funnel because just of just about, this moment. It's not just about the use of that. It's right. about where the placement of the clothes and not touching anything you, that's cootified and the smell, on. the rank, rank smell. No. You, you practice. So I, I went to the restroom and it's definitely a squatty potty. April's been freaking out about having to go to a squatty potty. I think we got time for another beer. Mm -mm. We can go have a beer at the <laughs> resort and sit outside there. No, yeah. it's more fun out here. We got view. We have a view there too. There was no view there, not yes. like this. This is a much better view of the national park right in front of us. Well, we've been here for almost a couple hours and then we'll go back and have a view there. Yeah, I like these momos. They're like- Oh, I'm gonna try yours. Mm -hmm. They kind of remind me of uh, a dim sum. Mm -hmm. When you cool. add the, the curry spice to it, it brings oh. it a whole new level. What's wrong with you? Oh. Is it hot? That's Hotter than mine. Really? Mm -hmm. Of the temperature. Then do you have the same no, look, we have different shapes. I think the shape is affecting it. The chicken's definitely a little bit more salty. Yeah. Overall, I think the buffalo is better. In the episode where we were in Bhaktapur, the bull uh, sacrifice, um, we got to go to the local family's house and, and try the sacrifice bull. Neat experience, especially the the rice wine. Check out the card above. Forgot to tell you how much uh, our little lunch was. We had two Momo, the little deep fried onion thing. I honestly can't remember the name of it. Two Nepali beers. I gave them a 200 uh, Nepali rupee tip. So it came out to $15.36. That's a deal. Yeah. And we were in the tourist area, like right there in front of the gate going into the national park.